my dear students good afternoon this is our uh, machine laboratory one so today we are going to perform the first experiment that is starting of dc shunt motor so now the dc shunt motor where the armature circuit is this double a terminal and eta and f and f and double f is the field terminals and this is our series terminal series terminal actually basically this panel is uh, dc compound motor but here we are going to use this motor as a shunt motor so we discard this series field now already connection is already made so how to connect the source has to be applied on uh, armature circuit as well as the field circuit before that field circuit and armature circuit need to be parallel with respect to the source so that is uh, that is double a terminal one of the armature terminal and one of the field terminal need to be short and one of the another terminal uh, armature and another terminal of field circuit need to be short and in this short terminal we have to put our dc supply to see the current to see the current we can connect emitter so now that emitter is connected in series that will give you the total current drawn by the motor and this emitter is connected with the series, uh, field circuit to see the field current so now this is uh, shunt motor so the total current uh, in, now this field current we, if we sub subtract the field current from the total current then rest current will flow through the armature circuit now let's start the motor and this volt and this voltmeter is connected with this armature circuit now as it is a shunt motor so this vol voltage is applied parallel to the armature that means armature circuit and field circuit are parallel with respect to the voltage so that means this voltmeter we can connect in the voltage terminal as well as the armature terminal as well as the field terminal because field and armature are parallel with respect to the voltage so, so it is a as it is a shunt motor this is shunt motor okay let's start the motor now this is our very egg that now very egg terminals are kept in uh, zero position now we start the motor increase the voltage now initially you will see this um, emitter there is a uh, rush high current flowing in the armature uh, in, in the motor why because the back emf is nil that is no back emf due to the absence of back emf all of you know this so now applied voltage is 72 now increasing the applied voltage now the current increases field current also increases and speed of the motor also increases now the as per as the ratings of the motor we can apply the voltage 220 now increase the voltage now this is our applied voltage rated applied voltage and this is the rated full uh, at no load condition the current total current drawn by the motor and this is the field current drawn by the field circuit now if we subtract this field current from the total current then rest current passes to the armature circuit and now see the motor so if we we can measure the speed of the motor through this terminal and this is our uh, generator name plate generator name plate and this is our motor now the 220 now see the name plate of the motor ratings of the motors given now in this in this setup dc shunt motor two dc machines are coupled one is dc shunt motor another is your generator so now we are not uh, uh, functioning the generator we are not talking about the generator we are not uh, talking about the motors 